The 17-year political dominance of Silvio Berlusconi formally ended Wednesday as Italy's new premier was sworn in. Economist Mario Monti took the oath of office at the presidential palace. His new government was formed to rescue Italy from financial disaster. There will not be any politicians in it, uh, which means that most of the people, one comic yesterday said, uh, even Wikipedia is having to update its sites because they find out who they are. They are not well-known people. Italy is the third largest country that uses the euro. It is debt totaling $2.6 trillion. That's 20% more than the country's annual gross domestic product. Monti came to the forefront after trading markets lost faith that the Berlusconi government could pull Italy back from the financial brink. With respect to Europe, uh, I'm deeply concerned, have been deeply concerned. I suspect we'll be deeply concerned tomorrow and next week. Uh, and the week after that. This Italian trader says he believes markets will reward Italy and will resume buying Italian bonds. Italy's economy faces multiple challenges, high wage costs, low productivity, high government payrolls, excessive taxes and bureaucracy, and low numbers of college graduates. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.